All right, and welcome back to another exciting episode of my test gameplay of sorts. Yeah, and it is um, 84.3 degrees in Chicago land. Very nice. So to kick things off, we are going to go to um, I'm professional. There we go. Go there. Got some more images sent in. Look at that. That's a mine. Uh, they're by Warren. I like that area, how that area is coming along. To be self-sufficient. Have your own farm, apple trees, little cottage off of the bay. Cool. And another picture of the mine. So there you go. And if you want your photos immortalized on the internet, send it to Richard Jeffrey Show at gmail.com. Uh, I need to specify your mind test uh, screen, screen grab screenshots. Yeah. So <laughs> I don't think that needs to be stated, but we'll throw that in. And really cool. This is, I'll, I'll put a description to this content.mindtest.net from Buckaroo Banzai. And he sent a, uh, an email or on a, a, a reply on Reddit to my post. Nice work. I like what you've done with my buildings from the city gen mod. Let me know if you have some improvements. Very cool. And, um, yeah. It's a, it's a pretty fun mod. Um, the next episode, I, I tease this a, a couple of ones. We're going to try to do a sort of first person shooter. The idea that you can, you know, blow up a city as my mouse moves uh, wildly across the screen, like a little fly. So that'd be, that'd be kind of cool. A way to, um, you know, generate a city, throw a bunch of mods in. Like I, like I showed in the mod video, just, just messing around, making a new world, throwing mods in. Because that works. So, I am just chilling over here at the, uh, at the house. Yes, I am. I don't know if that bird... I've been, I, I've been redoing uh, OBS. And everything kind of stopped working. So we're going to fly over because we had another comment. Um, who's this by? I revamped the stage. And don't have my glasses on. Nice. Uh, Nels B. Nice. Um, have you found a relatively simple way to make the lights behave like actual disco lights and blink? I'm trying to create strobe light effects. And then in, in, in reference to these lights here, um, I don't think it would be that hard. Well, it can be done. So if I go to the lights, we have this one, which is an aircraft warning light. And it blinks. See? Very slowly. Uh, but it, it blinks. And I use that on top of... Um, on top of poles to create like a building. Um, what do you call that? Uh, a pole light for on top of buildings because every building over, I'm trying to see if I'm getting anything from, Oh, I have to be getting audio in. Yeah. So I got my audio settings, right? Um, I have to look up in the, the Lua code for that light. Who's that by? Let's see. That is uh, infrastructure mod. Aircraft warning light. So that can be done. You can make them blink. How fast you can make them blink, that's another story. And I believe that's using like an on picture and then a picture, uh, a graphic of it in the off state. But there should be no reason why these. I've seen them. I've seen lights blinking before, 
um, is a minute, it just came to mind, the Christmas tree mod, that there, there was a Christmas tree mod that had flashing lights on a string of lights, and the whole light uh, string flashed. So it can be done to have them individually flash like that. So, yeah. So I'm going to show you what I've been up to and what uh, it's been. a It's been a very busy week as we just cruise down the city here. I want to um, add some more buildings. And the lag you're seeing is from um, chunks loading in. And I want to do the, I have a lot of parks and everything else that I want to do, but while we just ramble on and talk and everything else, how's everybody doing out there? Pretty cool. It's been, it's been one of those weeks where try to get everything done and Every time I have, uh, like I was going to record a video and then go for, uh, go exercise, go for a walk. Because uh, I've been doing that this week, getting back into my old routines. And um, everything, uh, every time I have something planned, it gets uh, sidetracked or somebody needs something done. So what I did is, and I'm not going to do too many more episodes out here at the uh, the new building. But it is kind of cool. So, on the entrance, and I, I'm going to show a, a little time lapse that I put together in a minute. So this is, this is pretty much done. I did the fourth floor. So this is the information. You come in, you got bathrooms over here, of course. And then you have uh, the information desk, which leads out to the garage. If I can get around this chair. Cool. Come in and get your, get your information from, from the security staff. Yeah. And now, let's go look at the upper floor. The roof. Is it going to open? No, it's not. There we go. So the roof is done, but I'm going to show you how I got to this point. Now we'll go take a look around real quick and uh, go from there. So basically, nice. If you're seeing this, it was a success. Basically, what it's uh, what it's doing. It's not what it's doing. It's a video playing in the background. So um, I just played around with different ideas and different shapes of other gardens and parks that I've used. And it's just to create an, uh, a, a rooftop restaurant and garden. So the whole idea, and I've done these before. I was going to record making it, but... What you're watching is five minutes condensed down from 30 minutes. And that's boring. It can be very, um, it can be very boring to sit and watch me build and come up with ideas. And I, I have, I have been meaning to get back into, uh, doing some live streams. They've been pretty popular. So in the past, but the only time I have to do them is like three o'clock in the morning. So it's, it's kind of strange. Nobody's going to stay up at 3 o'clock in the morning and watch. Uh, unless you're using my videos to, to you know go to sleep, which I do. Because um, after, after I put it up on YouTube, before I move the original, the original files to backups, I sit there and uh, I, I watch the video and give myself a thumbs up. Because that's the way I am. And... I'll make it through maybe half, you know, 10, 15, 20 minutes and I'm out. So, yeah. And I've heard that before because uh, a couple MSR, uh, 
oh, what are those channels? Um, you know, where they talk. They had mentioned that I have the voice for that MSR or um, whatever that is. And I've been, I've been jokingly toying with that idea. So, um, basically, it's just putting, putting all the chairs out for a little uh, concession stand slash restaurant and just making everything look good fit and making it look different from the other rooftop restaurants. So over on the, um, on the, uh, my version of the John Hancock building or the, the, uh, Michigan, I can't remember what they call it. They changed the name, but the, um, that has a whole different style rooftop restaurant. And then the building right next to this one has the, uh, water features and, and outdoor seating for the people in that building. Um, there's an octagon shaped building that has a full blown restaurant over by the uh, Michigan Avenue Tower. So, yeah, I've done them before, and they're all different looking, but it's just to um, go along with that. So just cutting different shapes, playing with that chair there. I don't know. It's kind of fun just to sit there and... Um, experiment with different different ideas so to keep the roof line i just used uh the, the circular saw just to use a little um a thin brick so the roof is very thin there and i made some changes i just put flowers here just to do it hopefully it's coming to the end I'd be a bad commentator for, like, sports and stuff. Well, the weather today is good. What about the racing? Nothing going on right now. They're riding around the track in a circle. I'd be, I'd be fired in about 10 minutes. <laughs> so, <laughs> what'd you hear in the pits? He said, he said he knows the winner was cheating because he was cheating. Nice. So it's just uh, using whatever you want. I don't like necessarily, I, I don't like building large builds as it, it Warren's picture of the, uh, the mine. Um, when you look at stuff like that, that takes a lot, a lot of time. And I do like those. My, I haven't been out to my medieval world building in a while and that takes that takes a lot of energy i'm i love just having the instant gratification of um some people can build an entire you know city block in 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 a half hour 45 minutes and this here took 30 minutes so yeah i hope to be doing more with um because people generally do like to see the um how they were built and it's gone and we're back how nice cool so that was five minutes of me inane rambling on about this area here so because of the elevators are coming out weird but i revamped i have a horse up here how nice i revamped this area up here i added some more seating nice little grassy areas i overdid i overdid it on the, the flowers i was trying to come up with like a concept of just rows of different flowers and i was trying to add stuff from the beautiful flowers mod so it looks pretty cool and at night the trees actually participate in the lighting so we will go over here real quick take a look at the concession stand as you saw come up here you can order your stuff and this is just very simple layout of a kitchen, but it works. Now I got nothing in the refrigerator. Bummer. Little office area that I can't get out the door. I do love these shelves. 
because you can put stuff in them and make them uh, make them real pretty. Take this, and we're going to take one of these and put that in there. And there it is, a little miniature uh, flower. So it comes in comes in real handy. But yeah, there you go. Nice little foliage. And uh, just a real nice area. So now we're going to go down to the fourth floor. Uh, where do I want to go? No, this, this side. I'm getting lost. And didn't do much with the... That's not where I want. Three doors. I gotta, I gotta do... Put signs out. Nice. So everything, everything basically up here is finished. I showed this. It's all finished. Now to move on. It's bigger and better things. And it's real cool. Sometimes I just like walking through the builds. Goes down to the other levels. We are going to go. Oh, perfect. It, it added, it incorrectly put me exactly where I want. So the idea that I had with this floor, you come up, the first four floors are retail. So you come up, you have the, that area there. There's your washrooms and um, elevators. And then you have your storefronts. So that worked out perfectly. So you can come in and you can rent a space. There you go. In today's economy. Yes. So this floor is finished. And the other floors, you got a little office back there. And the other floors will mimic that. People can walk around. Cool. Got a little tree action going on here. Just to make it more pleasant. If you've ever been into a dying mall, there you have it. So that... That is this building. It is it is for the most part done because now it's just adding in whatever else that I want to add in, um, making you know doing upgrades to the parking garage and other floors. Actually, making the business work. You can come back here after you park your car, sit, take the elevator up to wherever, and it, it there's a lot of gray. A lot of my builds have a lot of gray. Boom. So that is that is this building. We're going to go away from it for a while. I do want to start working on the landscaping and stuff. Nice. Here's the, here's the other building that I was talking about. I did use that acacia tree a lot. Cool. And this shares both buildings here. So we are going to come up with some other ideas for some other builds. Yeah. And I don't know which direction I want to go. So I was going to put a water feature up there, but I decided against that. I don't know. I have, um, yeah, this isn't, this isn't even finished. There's not going to be a restaurant up here. This is just a, a rooftop garden and like a, a workout track. You can walk around the building like 300 times and get some exercise in. Oh, the sun's going down. How nice. But what I want to do is I want to start working on, before I do any more roads, I want to start beautifying this area back here, retaining these trees. And back here is a uh, gravel pit, and I'd like to do something with that. It's all gravel. So I think, I think I can, incorporating this area in here. I like to keep um, 
I like to keep the areas and try to make stuff out of the train as it sits rather than just completely starting with a, a blank slate. I think it I think it ends up being more interesting. I don't know. And that that again would be personal preference. So back here, I want to have a parkway come back here because you have these businesses here. And that would do um so we have that clear cut. If I come over here. Watch this, this is going to be funny. Put that in here. Oh, invalid command. Did you hear me type? Boom, it's gone. Nice. So now I got, I have... I have a better, um, why aren't you going away? Now I have a, a fresh palette to work off of. That's a cool, uh, little tree there. I wonder why those didn't go away. It works. So what I want to do is make my own in terms of the trees that are used there that's nice and might be able to save these apple trees but I do want to work on that idea of the water going down and meeting the other water there's a tree under the underneath the bridge cool and this is a project that I will do. See, I want to get rid of... It's not that I don't like these trees, but I kind of don't like them. Why did that not... No, I don't want... I don't want four soil. I don't know why... Oh, there's a... This is what I was trying to get rid of. So let's see over here. You got to be kind of careful because those trees will also be taken out. And I don't want to take those out. Yeah, I got to be, I got to be careful here. It does. It, it kind of doesn't matter because if I make a mistake, I can always go back and cool. And I should have gone lower, but I really like, I added the mod in with the four soils after the fact, after I generated the world. So a lot of this stuff was generated during, um, like when, when a map block gets generated. So wood soils, there's different wood soils, grass with leaves, one, uh, dirt with grass. And I believe this is, there's three different levels of, um, wood soils. So what I want to do is I'm going to sit here. I don't know why it did. Oh, it did. It's just that I didn't do it correctly. But that's the idea. What is that tree? That is an apple tree. Cool. So I want to level this area out and make it into a nice park that can be shared from all these buildings here and the condos over here. Hi, Mr. Chicken. So that's the idea. And I am going to have to change the four soils because as you can see, that doesn't necessarily fit anymore. But I do kind of like 
the randomness of these. But I've I've done that. And that tree is cool. What is that? I think that's a cypress, not a cypress, um, cedar. All right, so that that's going to there's a polar bear. This this whole area used to be um, Arctic. It was snowy. Nice. This is going to be left unchanged. I really like the uh, jungle trees and the default trees. How they did that. There was supposed to be a little resort down here, but that's going to be. Um, done for the other side so that will take care of that so not much not much building or anything in this episode just uh ideas uh talking looking at the i still can't figure out why the fish want to jump out of the pond and i have that problem everywhere so and i've updated all the uh all those mods that have, um, those are from uh, Mobs Redo. They're the add-on, the fish, uh, the fish mod to that. While the pets mod was updated, every every once in a while, I still get um, a few fishes. Get rid of that. I don't know why I'm carrying a tree. Maybe it'll grow. This whole area was blank. So it was built up on the mountain and I just went crazy with pine trees. And I kind of like how that turned out. That is, that is a specifically done area. Same thing with over here. This will used to all be um, snow. And I've shown how I've gotten rid of all the snow blocks, changed it into summer, and added, went crazy with the pine trees. Nice. So that, it's not that I don't like the snowy regions. I just don't like the snowy regions over on that way. So that's basically it. That's an update of what's been going on. And uh, it's not that I've run out of ideas. I haven't found anything that I want to build that has really sparked other than when I hit on that city, the city gen mod to create those buildings, those two buildings that I copied into this world, they sparked a, um, you know, let's do something with these buildings kind of deal. And the nice thing about them is that there's my dragon. Hi, Mr. Dragon. That's what sometimes you need to get um, inspired to play with is to get those buildings like that. Let's see if the whales are still in the bay. Nice leg. They're just still chilling, still sunbathing. Nice. And I still haven't done anything with this observation observation deck. So there is that. And the, the greenhouse. I have a lot of work to do. But that's the beauty of it. All right. So that's going to that's gonna just about do it. Um, yeah. So this is going to be a nice shorter video than what I'm usually, what I usually do. You know, the 45 minute ones. So we are going to play with um, coming up with ideas for a first-person shooter. And <laughs> go from there on, on my other world. I'm going to revisit that. We're going to play with some more mods. And then come back up here, go out on the patio. And then... More of those, uh, the mobs for that had the farmers and the villagers and such. Um, we're going to try playing with those. And I have the ranged weapons mod and stuff like that added in there. So we're going to play with some more mods and see. The, the cool thing about the ranged weapons mod 
is that you can shoot glass and it'll break the glass. So it won't do it won't do other uh, nodes, but it will break the it'll break the glass and the um, like the hand grenades and the rockets those will take out the nodes. So we we can come up with some pretty interesting um, effects on that. And I can't remember the person. This is this is going back like two and a half years. I cannot remember the name of the YouTuber and the person and huge in the mind test community. Um, I'm going to try to find the name, but there was a, when I was on Nathan's channel, when he was visiting this world and he visited that person's world and he had a whole mind test mini game set up as a first person survival shooter. So that would be really cool to replicate. And it, it was, if from my memories, it was hard to uh, stay alive. So, yeah. All right. So that's going to do it. And I hope to have more time as we sit here by the fire. Ooh. Need to add some sticks. Of course, it won't take anything else. But, we have to go stoke the flames here. There we go. Yes, I know it's only a game. But, yeah, we'll be able to go from there. So thanks to Buckaroo Banzai uh, for that City Gen mod. The link will be in the description. Thanks to Warren and everybody else who has sent in photos that are screenshots of the worlds of your mind test builds and nothing else. And, uh, you can post them to the address on the web page and go from there. So thank you very much for joining. I will leave you with the swaying trees and the bamboo. Go from there. So until next episode, thanks for watching and uh, goodbye. <laughs>